The impact of Alzheimer's disease is absolutely devastating. It wipes away people's memories and causes great pain for those who watch their loved ones slip away. Improving treatment remains a top priority, and Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here with an update on that effort tonight. Mark? Nick, while there have been advances in treating symptoms of Alzheimer's, finding a cure or a way to slow this neurodegenerative disease down has proven elusive. That's why a new study was done to see if a specific anti-inflammatory drug can help prevent Alzheimer's. We know that where we see the pathology of Alzheimer's disease in the brain has a lot of inflammatory changes around it. As director of Geisinger's Memory and Cognition Program, Dr. Glenn Finney is familiar with studies done on whether non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, can prevent Alzheimer's disease. Think aspirin and ibuprofen. And we tried a lot of different drugs in that class to reduce inflammation, also perhaps to reduce amyloid, one of the main proteins in Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Finney was part of a clinical trial several years ago measuring the impact of NSAIDs on Alzheimer's prevention. All of them failed. But this time, McGill University in Canada specifically studied if the anti-inflammatory medication naproxen can prevent Alzheimer's in people with a strong family history of the disease. The results? Unfortunately, it's not surprising that uh, it did not show benefit. By ruling out this potential treatment, attention turns to other possibilities. Dr. Finney, who's also a board member of the Greater Pennsylvania Chapter of the Alzheimer's Association, will oversee a clinical trial this year. It will study a variation of a drug currently used for patients with ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, and how it might help Alzheimer's patients. We need to look in new places, new horizons, out-of-the-box thinking. Dr. Finney says the clinical trial on whether medication for ALS can help Alzheimer's patients will begin in just a few months. In the meantime, it's critical to manage what's in your control to help prevent Alzheimer's disease. Experts recommend getting regular exercise, eating plenty of fruits and veggies, controlling your blood pressure, and staying mentally and socially active. With the healthy Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. We know you'll